I'm making this video on Thursday, August 17th, the fires in Maui have finally dissipated, but it's ev it's already evident that the cost is extremely high. Already, we're seeing the po the predicted um, amount of dam of cost and damages being at around $5.5 billion. My personal opinion, this is just simply the conservative amount, the least amount. I would not be surprised if, as over time and as uh, the situation in Maui is fi finally recovers, that it would actually rise from its from 5.5 billion maybe to 10, 15 billion. I, at, at least as far as I know, that could that could it could potentially rise. That's how bad the situation is with uh, um, Maui, and you can all, and I'm pretty and there's been a load of pictures showing the destruction of uh, Lahani, one of the towns that uh, was affected by these fires. But we're also seeing the human costs as well, with nearly 100 victims as a result of this fire. And the counting is still not done. Think about The counting is still not done. I wouldn't be surprised if it drags on for another few weeks, maybe even a few months, before we actually get the total amount of people who have, act, who have died as a result of these fires. And this just goes to show that there were so many so many different problems with what happened in Maui. And I'm not, and it's, but what's very interesting is not just simply, uh, uh, simply the poor response or even the, or even the, the questionable circumstances of what has been going on with Maui specifically. I'm talking about the issue of about maybe a year or two ago where there's been the call to maybe buy up land in Lahani and try to make it more, uh, uh, more in, more integrated with artificial intelligence. I'm not really going to talk about that because I don't, I honestly don't know too much about that. But what does really interest me is the very political situation of what has actually gone on, and especially going up to the federal level. In fact, the federal level is definitely what I'm going to be focusing on. But already, already the poor response by search and rescue, and especially in terms of uh, trying to evacuate these cities is being met he with heavy amount of criticism to the point that uh, one of the county officials in Maui has resigned. One the, emer the emergency chief of Maui has a has a resigned. His name was uh, uh, Hernan Endaya, and he has resigned effective immediately due to health reasons. And I'm seeing I'm reading this from uh, CBS News. Already, there's about a hundred and eleven people the deadliest u.s wildfire in more than a century my man it's just wow and he himself is one of the a uh, main vocal points of criticism because of the fact that he did not issue an evacuation order he did not sound issue the sirens at all now i did look up his reasoning based upon why he did not um issue the sirens because the sirens are mainly for tsunamis not really for wildfires and he said that if he if the sirens went off, they would have gone to the mountainside, and that would potentially put them more much further into the fire. Now I can understand that based upon that assumption, that is kind of understandable, especially since uh, uh, Hawaii is definitely definitely gets hit by tsunamis. But at the same time, you have to think there should have been another s system involved to actually distinguish the possibility of a fire or. There should have been some other method in terms of trying to deal with evacu evacuation based upon wildfires. I know we have something like that here in the, here uh, in the Pacific Northwest, and we're prone to fires. In fact, uh, I think it was back in uh, 2021, we had such a bad fire where there was so much smog covering the entire air. At one point, it was so bad, I could look at the sun with my naked eye and not be affected. It was that bad, and I highly suggest you don't try that ever. It was it's it was a one-off thing, and, and and it was only thanks to the smog. It just clear it just prevented the UV rays and the light from actually shining down and causing pr problems with my eye. Again, I would not recommend you doing that. That it was stupid of me, so I'm warning you guys. But again, you sh there should have been something going on, and already with. The fact that this entire situation is basically being used as a means to project the whole idea of climate change is just already it's become a it's become such a mess. 
the governor is has effectively said that it's based upon climate change. That's up for de- that has been up for debate, but already it's just I think more people are more concerned, especially the citizens of Maui, are more concerned with the fact that the search and rescue efforts were extremely poor and that many lives could be saved. But that wasn't bad enough. Joe Biden, before he went into a vacation to Wilmington, Delaware, or at least I think it was Wilmington, Delaware that he lives, he said when he was pressed upon this issue with Maui, he said no comment while he was smiling. Now, I know that Six X and Hammer act said that he doesn't believe that this is his Katrina moment, which I can understand partially, and I partially agree with him to some extent. But at the same time, you have to think, holy crap, he does not give a, give a damn about anyone. He did not give a damn about what happened in East Palestine, and he doesn't give a damn in Maui. And keep in mind, th- this should... Politically, this should have been an easy win for him. He would have gone to Maui, tried to read um, issues, tried to get some efforts underway to help his own base. I mean, this is a this would have been an easy win as well as what, what he should have done with East Palestine, which, by the way, he has not visited as of yet, and it's been a few months since that accident. He would have been able to go to Maui, show that he definitely cares, and it would definitely... Uh, definitely get some attention with uh, the, the victims of Maui, as well as provide some more relief. And yet he doesn't. He decides to go on to vacation like he does for 40% of the, his entire presidency. 40%. Keep in mind, th- this could be, again, how easy this would have been. De- Hawaii is a democratic state. In fact, it's so democratic that, it's a near, that in uh, both houses of their state legislature, the Democrats have nearly 90%, 90% of, of seats. The whole, in fact, uh, Republican Republicans happen to be the weakest in that state. That's how bad the situation is. And this could have been an easy win. Now, Six Six and Haber is correct that he will definitely see a slump. But in all honesty, I think that this would definitely be the very the, this would definitely be something that a lot of Democrat, lot of average Joe liberals, Democrats would definitely be reconsidering. I mean, after all, he does he absolutely did not do anything for East Palestine while Trump did. He's not doing anything for Maui, and those are his own Democratic voters. Why should they why should they go on out and vote for this guy? Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they decide to go for someone else, like maybe uh, Robert Kennedy Jr.? I mean, that's a very simple, simple uh, process. In fact, I would not be surprised that this would actually be some be a this issue would be addressed within the Democratic parties at the very minimum. The Democratic Party debates. In fact, I would actually love to see something like that occur. But would this? Stop Joe Biden from potentially becoming the nominee. No. Honestly, no. It's considering the fact that he's the incumbent and that he has the support of the establishment, I would not be surprised if he still manages to win the nomination. However, this would definitely uh, put into... This would definitely have average Joe liberals who are not uh, um, the vote blue no matter who cloud or or the leftoids or whatever. They would definitely feel like they should reconsider who they may be potentially voting for or who they may who or and whether to give their put to, their vote to Joe Biden. I mean, yeah, they may not like Donald Trump, but at the same time, why would they care for Joe Biden when he doesn't care for them? It it just shows a, a different per, amount of perspective. After all, he does after all, he could have done anything, absolutely anything. For either East Palestine or for Maui. What does he do? Ask for ask for aid for Ukraine. And then leaves for a vacation. That is our supposed president in the nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. Democrats who are definitely having buyer's remorse. 
this is what we get. And now we're all being affected by it. And especially the people of Maui. I feel so sorry. I feel sorry for what's been going on with Maui. And they definitely need our help at this very point in time. My name is Noemi Hanna, the Arc Truth. Please post your comments down below. Like this video, subscribe, and share your friends. Also, if you have any issues regarding my videos, such as how I speak or anything I should improve on, please post them down in the comment section down below or directly message me. Thank you. Almost hit.